so basically um i started this new page because what i want to do is talk to you guys about the side of lupus you don't get to see ah my hair is a wreck <laughs> so i'm not gonna spend hours um you know trying to be cute for stuff i mean you know like it unless you think this is cute <laughs> but um basically what i want to do is Instead of waiting until I feel like it to post and just tell you like what happened and how things have been, what I, sorry, I'm fidgeting. What I've been doing is um, I have been uh, doing like a couple of videos the past like 24 hours to show you guys some things that I was going through as I went through them. So, okay, it's kind of a long video. Um, it was really hard to make. It was really hard to make myself a record when it was happening. Um, but I really want to be transparent. Does that make sense? I guess. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, because the video is already long, let's go. Okay. So obviously, um, these are my daily medications. High blood pressure, high uric acid, anxiety, depression, nerve pain, joint pain low b12 and obviously lupus um i thought that i would bring you guys along while i fill my prescriptions for the week um it's kind of i mean i don't know i guess you could skip this part i speed it up in a second but it's just it's just like a tedious task and i mean if you don't take medications like this on a daily basis you might not know that um people go through stuff like this you know like um this is actually like like two thirds of the medications I used to take when I was first diagnosed. Um, so basically, what was happening? Um, you see, like some of them, I only put a few pills in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or just the Monday, Tuesday, because I'm out of those. I have to pick them up tomorrow. And um, since it was Monday, I started with those ones on Monday so that I have a day or two to get them. So here I am getting my medications to take last night. Okay, um, so I'm not really sure, like, if you're gonna be able to hear this, it's actually, I know it's dark, um, but everyone is sleeping, including the dogs. Um, I am trying to record, um, times in my lupus journey that are not, um, pretty. So, um, I just went through like doing all of my meds and, um, I actually, um, I'm dealing with something right now. It's very raw. So like, um, okay. So basically I take a medication for anxiety and, um, the reason that I take it is because I was literally having anxiety attacks that felt like, um, like heart attacks, um, like I would get really bad chest pains, I would have shortness of breath, um, my husband's a paramedic, literally has taken me to the hospital for one before, um, when we were planning our wedding, because I had just gotten back from traveling, and we were planning the wedding, and I was super overwhelmed by what I was experiencing, uh, the reason that I am coming to you now to talk about that is because, um, so this thing happens, if you notice, even when I talk, like, this corner of my mouth goes up, like, I notice in videos, I don't really, like, think about it, but, like, it does that. Um, it's actually a, a uh, side effect of my anxiety medication. However, um, I don't just deal with anxiety, I also deal with depression, and <coughs> um, I've been doing like a diary about uh, my depressive behaviors because um you know like counselors and stuff they always ask like are you suicidal and I would always say like I you know like not are you suicidal like do you have suicidal thoughts and I would always say yeah I mean you know like I think about what it would be like to not be here um but I've learned over the time of like doing of like keeping track of that that it's not actually 
suicidal like actually it's like I just don't want to be here so like if I'm stressed out like um it's kind of like a fight or flight thing but like there's not really I guess it is a fight but like anyway long story short uh basically sometimes I just think about like getting in my car and driving away you know like driving until like the wheels fell off the car like you know um obviously I would never do that I would never leave my kids or my husband behind and just you know whatever anyways so I was sitting here doing this stuff and this thing that happens um sometimes when I'm really stressed out or whatever like I do this thing and I'm gonna see like if I if I sit still like if it'll do it um to show you like it's kind of like a tick thing that I do it's trying to do it now but since I'm talking it's not doing it so anyways okay so I'm just gonna sit still for a couple seconds and it'll probably happen so like yeah <laughs> okay that's that's the thing it's so embarrassing and I didn't even realize like how ugly like it is like okay not ugly but you know what I'm saying like I never saw myself do it um and my uh youngest was like what's wrong like why are you doing that and I was like oh is it that obvious and then like um I saw myself in the mirror and I was like oh god it's so obvious and um the sound is so loud like compared to what it seems like it is to me so anyways um I am just trying to show you the realities of what I'm going through as opposed to what I typically show the world so that was four and a half minutes for something that probably could have taken 30 seconds so anyways I will be back to explain more on all of this so I hope you guys can sleep I hope I can sleep <laughs> good night hey so I just wanted to update you guys on um what's going on with the um twitch from the post last night um Coincidentally, today I showed you in my pill video that I was, um, sorry, my dog's asking to come I showed you in my pill video that I was running low on a couple of my medications, so I went on to, I have a pharmacy app where I can just go in and request the refill, and, um, they told me that actually my medication for my anxiety was going to take a while because I had to get doctor approval, so a little bit later... My doctor called and was like, hey, uh, we just wanted to make sure this is still working for you. And I was like, actually, I was going to call you today um, because I have this Twitch thing going on. And my husband actually researched it and it said that it could be because of that medication and um, that I might need to switch medications or, you know, change my dosage or whatever. So um, she talked to the doctor, she called me back and, um, she was like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut it from 25 to 10. And I'm super stressed about that. Um, because I know how I feel when my anxiety is really high. And I know that like, if I miss, um, like if I'm late taking my dosage, I know that uh, I start to get anxiety. I get depression. I have a hard time dealing with stuff. So basically, um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be on a lower dosage and I am really stressed about it. So if this is not something that you have to deal with, um, if you don't have any mental or chemical imbalance issues, um, God, please be kind to people that do. Please do not act like it's all in their head. Please do not act like uh, it doesn't exist. It doesn't matter. Um, it does. It's hard. And these things can cause physical things to happen as well. And there are changes and you just never know what people are going through. And I am going to wipe my tears and go back out there and hang out with my family like nothing's wrong because I don't want my kids to worry but I wanted to do this now so that you can see um the raw real reaction to um what Lucas has brought into my life even though 
I am strides beyond where I was when I started. So it's easier. It's still hard. And just, you know, be kind and love each other. So I know that if I just show you like the hard stuff, then that's going to be depressing. And I could not watch that all the time. So obviously I'm going to show you that stuff, but I'm going to show you like good stuff too. And like that video of me crying was like, you know, like maybe five hours ago. So, I mean, it's not forever. I don't stay there. Um, I have an awesome family. I have a great support system. Um, I have a really good life. Um, I was given two weeks to live when I was diagnosed and that was 19 years ago. So I am not by any means saying, feel sorry for me. I am not complaining really. I'm just giving you a peek at the experience. So if you like that and you, not if you like it, but you don't even mean like if you like getting that information, um, then you should like, and subscribe and you know, I'm going to try to post more often since I don't have to get all gussied up to post now. You know, I can just be myself and hopefully you guys will love me anyway. So, oh, now it's coming. My hair is so cute. Okay.